Hey, what up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Do you believe that exes can be friends? Um, not real friends. Like a real friend. Like, uh -huh. like you can't, I mean, they do. Like exes do, like I have friends who are friends with legit friends. Uh -huh. But I think for the most part, it's really hard to remain friends, meaning just completely platonic. Like, I don't want anything from you. You don't want anything from me. You know, just call it like friends, right? Like friends. But I also don't believe that men and women can truly be friends. No. I don't believe that. I, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, let me, let me preface this by saying, yeah. I, I don't believe men and women can be friends um, unless they're not attracted to each other whatsoever. Yes, but usually one of them is. Right. That's why. No, you're right about that. Like, I have friends that are girls. Yeah, that you would, you don't find them attractive. Correct. To the least. And they don't bit. find me attractive. Right. Then you can be friends. So yeah. So I have, I have like, but I, that's not, I have like maybe two. Yeah. Two or three, right? But <clears throat> I think for the most part, you, they, they, they're like Harry met Sally. You can't really be friends. No. Usually, no. usually it's something, and, feelings and, get in the way. And friends with exes, like, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, well, I've always had a clean break. Like, I'm like, once we're done, like, that's it. Well, no more. Well, you and I are similar in that regard. Like, when when we're done, I believe you you cut it clean, yeah. right? What's the point? Like, What's why? The point? So this is what the story is talking about. A lot of they did a survey. Psychologists surveyed 860 people, mm -hmm. and they found that a lot of them not only stay in touch with their ex and they have a some kind of relationship. But they gave them a test, and what they found was that these people are actually borderline psychotic. Yes. Okay, so there's three traits that they said, right? Mm -hmm. So one is narcissism. They exhibit narcissism. Yeah. The other one is they, they exhibit Mach Machiavellian characteristic, which is basically cunningness and uh, and kind of like two-facedness, right? Like cunningness, you know, get kind of get what you want. Yes. The third one is just psychotic. Yeah. Like just they're psychopaths, which this study I'm I'm like so I'm trying to it's 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 not that complicated to understand, but it's just interesting that they would find this because I feel like like mo I'm, I I don't believe that most people exhibit these things when they well you know what I mean? look I mean we all have tendencies that we don't really display on the right. surface. Like if you look at a person, you can never tell what kind of person they are even after you get to know them. But right. maybe there's some latent, um, you know, things that in there yeah. that's that's kind of like, sometimes we don't even know. That's why they're psychologists, right? They, they talk to you, they're like, hey, you know, you do this because you, you, you used to get beat up by a by a kid with a stick on a, on a playground. That's right. why you hate the playground. I don't know, right. like all this stuff kind of ties together. So maybe if you think about it, why do you want to stay friends with your ex? Okay, so for me, I don't, mm -hmm. you don't. Right. But for other people, um, well, kind of like what they're saying, maybe there's, there's gotta be a benefit. There's gotta be right. benefit. So money, like, uh, I, I don't know, how, like, can I borrow some money one day? Uh, intimacy, yeah. right? So the, they're in, in this day and age, like a lot of people, they're not really broken up. Or kind of like uh, when I met your mother, they talked yeah. about the hook. Oh, what's that again? The hook, where yeah. like you keep someone on the hook. So oh yeah, yeah. so it could so, be also someone's used, on someone's yeah, hook. Yeah, it could also yeah. be used as a confidence booster because you're like you always have a backup, kind of like what Chandler did with Janice. Well, you, know you I mean? well, you just mentioned one of the traits, yeah. which I believe is either narcissism or s narcissism. It's basically lack of empathy. Uh, e um, could be like egotism and, or also just a little bit of psycho psychoticness, which is impulse. They define it as being impulsive, selfish, callous, and remorseless. Right. So, so why do we keep someone on the hook? Right. Let's talk about that for a right. second. It's because we always want to feel better about ourselves, yeah. but what are we doing to the other person? Like, we don't care how you feel. Ding, we, ding, ding. Although you like me, right. I don't care. I just want you to be there when I need you. Right. So, now. now so now I feel like, okay, this makes a little, a lot more sense to me in terms of like how people can behave like this mm -hmm. because I would say most, a lot of people I know after they break up, there's, there's a lot of that involved. Yeah. Like I've been hurt. So there's, there's that side. And then I want, you know, I want something from you and to really just satisfy my feelings at right. the moment. Right. And the other part is of course money. So sometimes I've, I, I have a friend, his ex-girlfriend asked them to borrow money. 
So it's convenient. I'm not saying they're trying to extort money from yeah. them, but it's convenient, right? They might not ask their friends' friends, but they might ask their ex, because they're like, yo, like we've been together for a while, okay? So, so that part, the intimacy part, I could definitely see that people, I, I just, I mean, okay, so what, what this article is saying, so these people, these three traits, they call it like the dark triad. So psychologists use that to kind of see like who's crazy, who's not. I don't think these people are actually crazy. I think that if you give anyone a test and ask them about their ex, they're gonna be like, there's a little bit of hatred in there. So I feel like, I feel like this test is a little biased. Well, we, we don't know. I mean, we don't know. This, this, cause this could also be like an inner look into your psyche. We're not really sure, but to me, it's weird. To me, people who are exes, but they're still really good friends. Like if I'm dating a girl mm -hmm. and she's really good friends with her ex, I'm not gonna feel too good about that. I think that's a deal breaker for me. Really? It depends. Like if it's if it's like a like, I don't know. If it's I I, I really have to be like, well, yeah. Like why are you friends with them? Yeah. Why why are you guys friends? You search why are you friends? I find that weird. You find this that is weird. like this is why when people invite their exes to their weddings, they they the partners have issues with that, right? Look what happened Dude. when Ted tried to invite his ex to a wedding. She got she married. No, he- Spoiler alert, you don't oh, want to tell people what happened. <laughs> Yo, don't listen to him, go watch How I Met Your Mother. Go watch it, go watch it, man. Go watch like, it. Like, when Emily didn't want Rachel at uh, Ross- Same thing. Ross and Emily's wedding. Yo, I got a question for you. So, my ex, what if my ex invites me to her wedding? Cause she's, she got married. They haven't had the ceremony yet. Uh-huh. Uh, don't go. Don't go, right? Don't go, don't go. Because I think don't. your girlfriend have a problem with that. I have, well, I, uh, well, first of all, I might, I might not go. I'm just but saying, your myself. girlfriend would have a problem with that. Or she might not. I think she might. She might, or she might not. Cause she, I, I think she will. Because, uh, because I don't she's know. gonna have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause they, 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 they. You're gonna die. No, listen, listen, listen. This is a date. No. They hung out one time. No. no. They hung out one time. Your girlfriend is gonna no, have they, a problem with they that. They hung out before. I don't care. You're, she's gonna have a problem with that. What if she invites me and my girlfriend? Yeah, well, that, here's, well here's, here's what you're gonna do. But here's what you need to do. You're gonna be like, hey babe, uh, so so they sent an invite. We don't have to go, but like just just so you know, they sent an invite. If you wanna go, I mean, we yeah. can go. But we don't have to. Yo, I'm not even gonna have to say. Honestly, I probably wouldn't get one, which I'm fine with. Yeah. But I'm I'm just saying, what if that happens, right? I'm no, not gonna get one. I'm, I might get one. You yeah, you might. I get might one get too. one. I'm not Yo, going. Why not? I don't really know them that well. You gotta go. No, I don't know. Yo, say, yo, I'm bro, go. you gotta say face, you gotta go. I'm not gonna go. Yo, you, Asians never yo, not go to watch a wedding. this show? No. Does she watch this show? I don't think so, dude. She that might watch this awkward, show. Man. She that might awkward. watch this show. I'm it would be that show. awkward. Yo, what if she wasn't gonna invite us? <laughs> Did she watch this segment? <laughs> then we get it. Yo, how do we know that that's gonna happen? Like, if we get an invite, then we're like, hmm, let's look at the timestamp of the video. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. She doesn't watch. She's not gonna watch. <laughs> oh this. my god! But anyway, let us know what you guys think. Can exes really be friends? Let us know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.